What if you really wanted Fredo and NBA Youngboy to squash the beef? That's something that you do. You you're not dealing with niggas who you can just spring some shit on to where the public can get involved. You understand what's going on in Baton Rouge because it's the South. You don't spring that on no nigga to where his homeboys and these and the hoes can get involved in it. If you really want to do it like that, pull up with NBA Youngboy in the car to where Fred O at. Know what I'm saying? Do it like that. And just really know if you really a general like that, that's how you do it. But to come out and put some shit on Front Street to me look like a publicity stunt just for this to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not no dumb nigga. So it's like it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I ain't know this was gonna happen. How the fuck you didn't know? You, you're dealing with dumb motherfuckers. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get straight down to it. This is the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is... If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt, make sure you go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10, which you will see in the commercial down the line. Work. All right, so Kevin Gates got a tattoo of NBA young boy. NBA young boy killed his homeboy G Money because his homeboy G Money played him like a bitch and was making diss songs about him. And in Baton Rouge, if a nigga make a diss song about you, you got to step. Step mean kill a nigga. All right, while all this go on, the real shooter. Fred O'Bain was locked up. NBA Youngboy paid to get uh, G Money killed. G Money and Fred O'Bain is homeboys and shit like that. I'm guessing that Fred O'Bain was the only fucking shooter because ain't nobody else, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. But Fred O'Bain come out woofing, you know what I'm saying? Let it be known if he wasn't locked up that um, when none of that shit went down. Alright, so you can see his blood shit right there. Um, NBA young boy killed Fred O'Bain homeboy. Now Fred O'Bain out of jail, he moving and shit like that. Kevin Gates got cool with NBA young boy. He got so cool to where Kevin Gates felt like he should get the nigga face tattooed on him. Um, meanwhile... NBA young boy is kissing a nigga named NBA Baby Joe or whatever the fuck on the neck. Wow, infected with herpes that was given to him by Jania because she cheated on him with G Money, which was probably the real reason that he killed the nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So I'm catching you up on what took place. What just happened was Kevin Gates posted a picture of Fred O'Bang, new mixtape, new project, new single, whatever the fuck. And now everybody go crazy because everybody that fuck with NBA Youngboy, you know what I'm saying, been rocking with Kevin Gates too because, you know what I'm saying, Kevin Gates made a career move to align himself with NBA Youngboy. Maybe just strictly for them young fans that he got. Maybe Kevin Gates management, PR representative, like told him like you need a younger demographic and what better way to do it than fuck with, you know what I'm saying, nigga from your city is perfect. So rah 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 whatever, uh that takes place. He posts the picture of Fred O'Bain, mixtape, whatever like that. When the internet go crazy on him, Kevin Gates say I'm trying to bring the city together. Atlanta worked together while we can't work together. I'm trying to squash the beef. The nigga Baby Joe come out saying, 
whoever said we gonna we gonna unite like Atlanta, we ain't gonna do it. We do our own thing. Coming at Kevin Gates, but won't say that he coming at Kevin Gates. That's whole shit. Just like NBA young boy kissed you on the neck. That's whole shit. And this is where we at. First off, it kind of make you think, it, it make you realize why it's so hard to get something going in the South. You know, they say up North, you know what I'm saying, they got their own, you know what I'm saying, whatever, they got their own issues and shit like that. But I don't know nothing about this shit. I know about the South, man. And down this bitch, man, this shit, the hate so goddamn. And you getting to see it right here. A nigga post a nigga shit. This what you get. You know what I'm saying? You try to, you try to, you know what I'm saying, aid another nigga. You, you try to unite some shit. This how it happens. Niggas gonna say, I don't like the way you tried to unite it. You know what I'm saying? Unite it another way. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a fucking something to say about what the fuck you trying to do without them trying it. This is the South. Most of the memes you see on your social media, they come from motherfuckers from the South. Because they've been through that shit. Seen that shit real, like, I'm saying, up close and personal. I cannot believe I fucking lost my goddamn comics, my nigga. I swear to God. This is bullshit. So, with that being an issue, it, 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 it really lets you understand, man, like, If you had to, if you had to pinpoint where the devil lived, that you would have to say down south. You know what I'm saying? Where else could you go and see this much opposition when a nigga do something that could help? You know what I'm saying? Bridge the gap. You know what I'm saying? And make this another land. I mean, it's. Motherfuckers always saying Baton Rouge is the name of it's all this talent down this motherfucker, but you got only so many ways to get up. You know what I'm saying? If you made Baton Rouge the plug instead of people in Baton Rouge being the plug, my mixtapes do a um they do like interviews and shit like that. They come to your they come to your city like come to where you at and do your like a little interview and shit like that. I think they'd have been down that bitch like eight times, I think, just in different nigga shit, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Just in different folks' shit. And it like rarely the motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, just really have other motherfuckers with them. I think Fred O'Bane had a nigga with him. You know what I'm saying? But that's cause he on the come up and shit like that. Niggas will not think about anybody, and that's what gets you signed. Labels want to make sure that you do not have a hive mind, meaning you do not think for anyone else but yourself. You don't think about anybody else but yourself, so that when you fall the fuck down, no one else will help you up, because you didn't help them. They isolate you. They want you to be isolated. They know if I give this money to this selfish motherfucker that don't got the sense enough to know, I need to put crutches around me. I need to put as many people on as possible so that, you know what I'm saying, if anything should happen, I can go here, there, 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 there. In so many different avenues. A nigga that got a lawn care business, a nigga got a tax service, a nigga got a food place right here. This nigga do podcasts, this nigga sing, this nigga rap. This nigga engineer, this nigga, niggas ain't on that. Niggas is on me and mine, fuck them niggas. Me and my niggas. And then you see, you know what I'm saying, Boosie on brother try to take everything from him. And niggas don't learn from that. And that's what the labels want. They want motherfuckers who will be self-destructive in that manner. Um, if, if, if you're not doing things that are going to help you, then you're doing things that are going to hurt you. There's only two things to be, you know what I'm saying? And that, so that's obviously being uh, destructive. And people that love you won't stick around for that. You know what I'm saying? But people who just want something from you, 
they gonna ride till the wheels fall off. When the wheels fall off, they jump on another bandwagon. But niggas don't hear that shit. Down south is about get you a chick, get you some ball man, your J's, your polos, get you a form, put your old school on eights, live good. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your hoes. I'm looking at little baby. I'm looking at all subject. I'm looking at little baby. And it was a it was a rumor. Early it was a rumor like he was soft for hoes and shit like that. Early rumor about that shit, he was soft for hoes. And when you look at him with this with this supposed to be bitch that he with, it's like you can like certain niggas you can just tell who they were in the neighborhood and shit like that. Like right now it's a nigga in your hood that ain't no whole ass nigga, but he just dirty and dingy. Just, you know what I'm saying? And you just, just see him in the hood forever. He ain't gonna go nowhere because that's all he knows is just to be in the hood and just a dirty-ass nigga. Like, he don't even look at hoes. You know what I'm saying? Because he know he ain't gonna get them bitches. And, like, try to get in that nigga mind. You know what I'm saying? Try to get in that nigga head and think about, like, what he... You think he don't want the same thing everybody else want? Like, that nigga wanna be the man. He want hoes to see him. He want, you know what I'm saying, hoes who wanna fuck him too, but... He ain't got no way out. But if you in Atlanta and you can to the right person, you know what I'm saying? You might just get a magic ticket because the game is wide open right now. You don't have to be talented. Two niggas. Two niggas. One nigga just came home from prison for a um, conspiracy charge. One nigga been rapping for five years, got two mixtapes out, he focused. You know what I'm saying? They got real deal balls and shit like that. You put both them niggas in front of um, CEOP or uh, nigga just in a record label and they'll take the motherfucker fresh out of prison before they take the artist with the experience, talent, and a clean record. Because this one has a better, a better storyline. Black youngster showed us this. And a million others, but it hurts me. You know what I'm saying? It hurts me to see where the fuck the game is at now for us to be so blind to why in the fuck they snatched that requirement away from music. It's called music for musicians. For musicians. Musicians are having to quit what it is not only that they love to do and have a passion for, but what they're good at. Being lost on these Streaming platforms, like the artists that I talk to behind the scenes, that they they got their shit on Spotify, they got their shit on um, Tidal and, and 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 Apple, SoundCloud. Nobody knows you. Everybody's on Spotify, Apple, and Tidal and SoundCloud. Why in the fuck would they listen to you? Why? Why? They not gonna listen. It's work to give a it's it's work to give a new artist a chance. Cause now you gotta go through the uh let me uh let me see uh cause there's so many garbage artists out there that when you listen to a new artist like ah that song good I just motherfucker he this is trash. So either the, the, the real musicians give up or they sell out. Signed to a label and just write music, getting pennies, and their best years are going down the drain. People will point you out examples of people um, coming out at 30 years old, at 31. But as you've seen with Kid Boo, an artist who probably is a better rapper than he puts on. But recognize that the game ain't on that type of time. 
and couldn't wait for this bullshit storm of fuck niggas to pass. So he became the storm. Died his hair. Named himself after a fucking anime show. And because he didn't have a gangster storyline, his, his true storyline is him being a fuck another uh, sexual predator. So he made a new storyline where he's a fucking clone. And he's 23 years old. When he's actually 30. This, these are the links that musicians, not, not seeing Kid Boo as a musician, but these are the links that musicians that won't quit have to go to. Go on Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? Sell out. You know what I'm saying? Try to fight somebody over here. Just anything you can to get in the light. Just look at me. Just That's it, it, that's that's what it is right now. So, with that whole uh, Chirac wave, the whole Chicago wave, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had to prove that they was the most gangster. And in the process of trying to prove that they're the most gangster, a lot of people who should not have been in the street jumped in the street and got rolled the fuck over and got left there trying to be a rapper. Baton Rouge is no different, but it is different because down here, that shit gets fucking amplified to a million because niggas' mind don't move that fast. You make a song... Boosie has set the motherfucking standard. A nigga make a song about you. If you make a song about him, you're pussy. If a nigga make a song about you, you kill that nigga. What can you expect, though? When you're making that kind of music, this is what you're going to get from it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really expect niggas that make this kind of music... To have a mind, and even if you do have a mind, niggas are gonna put you in a situation to where you can't, it's not gonna be cool to use your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool to do the smart thing, it's actually cool to do the dumb thing. Dumb way, you know, dumb, <laughs> you know, whack some. With, yeah, with the yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah, you know. Dumb. All that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be logical in this situation. Come on, man. You're gonna lose your whole career like that. That's why, I, even with Gates' response, um, I don't believe. I have to believe. I think that Gates is looking at. You know what I'm saying? How many more years does he have in this game? Realizing that nobody that he's tried to put on has worked. So now, you know what I'm saying, because everybody dreams to be guided or Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I, I came up on T.I. Can I say T.I.? I don't really want to, I say T.I., I say T.I. You know what I'm saying, like, somebody who got on and I put somebody else on. With, with him trying to do that and it, and it didn't work, you know what I'm saying, in any of those situations where he tried it with the BWA shit, now... He has to find ways to extend his artist life. And, um, because I don't see any reason why he would jump in a situation like this knowing these niggas is retarded. Like, what if you really wanted Fredo and NBA Youngboy to squash the beef, that's something that you do. You, you're not dealing with niggas who you can just spring some shit on to where. The public can get involved. You understand what's going on in Baton Rouge because it's the South. You don't spring that on no nigga to where his homeboys and these and the hoes can get involved in it. If you really want to do it like that, pull up with NBA Youngboy in the car to where Fredo at. You know what I'm saying? Do it like that. And just really know if you really a general like that, that's how you do it. But to come out and put some shit on Front Street to me look like a publicity stunt just for this to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not no dumb nigga. So it's like, it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I ain't know this gonna happen. How the fuck you didn't know? You, you're dealing with dumb motherfuckers. 
you're not dealing with, you know what I'm saying, logical people. So how in the fuck do you know this will happen? What's going to happen? Uh, second thing is, the reason why I feel like, I already feel like, you know what I'm saying, you personally already said that the tattoo you got don't even look like NBA Youngboy. And people have said that it don't even look like him. So it's easy for you to say that's a tattoo of another nigga. But what I think that you just did that for publicity. You know what I'm saying? Just to uh, look to get more fans. Because if I get a nigga face on me, ain't no, like, that's love. His enemies are my enemies. And it's just like that. It ain't no, yeah, I'm a, no. I'm not going to. If I if I see a nigga that I got his face tatted on me, if I see his enemy, I'm gonna call him like, "What you want me to do right here? He right here. Let's do it." You know what I'm saying? Or, or just go ahead and do it and tell him afterwards. But for me to just up and post the nigga shit, it's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, this shit right here. All oh, this shit fake. That would it say to me? A nigga would sense and say, "Ah right, yeah, all this shit was publicity." That's not about uniting. You know what I'm saying? And if it's your city, then you know how your city works. You know what I'm saying? You're not like... You acting like you're a guest in your city. Like, if this actually is your kingdom that you're a general of, then you know how your shit works. You know how motherfuckers handle this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that was a whole little... You know, you running the 52 fake. And just... You know what I'm saying? Because he understands what this game is. This game really is... All publicity is good publicity. If ever you can keep your name ringing without actually having no blood shit, like so, what I feel like he just feel like both them niggas pussy must, cause he playing with them, and he, obviously he feel like Fred Bain is more of a threat than NBA Youngboy, cause who he disrespected was Youngboy, knowing that he, and that's why, and see you gotta watch niggas like that. Listen to me now, you gotta watch niggas like that. Watch niggas who play up under you. Who play up under you and then try you like that. That mean that when he was playing up under you, he was reading you about how far he can go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga all the way pussy. I'm finna go crazy with this nigga career. You know what I'm saying? I'm just finna do the most with this nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? I can do anything. I can go fuck this nigga whole whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? But what he doing is teetering the line of friend and foe. Where he can, cause he really just played NBA young boy like a hoe to where baby Joe had to come out the water. But he was so confused by it, he didn't even want to go all the way in. So he had to you know what I'm saying, keep that shit like halfway respectful and didn't say the nigga name and shit like that. But Pierre Point Blank, if that's your people, you never gonna do that. You never gonna post. Yo, people's enemies, anything on your shit trying to promote him. Like, it's death to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck do you got going on? And it's so fucked up. Like, and then NBA, is a, and he already got herpes. It's like, he didn't play him like a hoe. That's all it is. He didn't play him like that because he seen that he was pussy. He seen something in him to where he knew what his response was going to be. You know what I'm saying? He knew he wasn't going to do shit with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know you ain't gonna do shit. And that's how it was. But it just really show like, this is how treacherous it is down south. And it's not no just treacherous, like, nigga gonna be in your bushes. No, it's on some, you know what I'm saying? I'll kill your character before I kill you on some shit. Like, this is how you hate from, you know what I'm saying? It's, you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta understand this shit. You can hate from so many different angles and ways. You can fuck a nigga up so many different ways. If a nigga up here balking like this, you can show the people that he not that. Easily. Just by playing up under him. Watch that shit. But this, but this is what the, you know what I'm saying, the rap trap do also. It puts you around a lot of other niggas who is all for self. Understand, everybody within this fucking rap trap was chosen to be here. And one of the fucking requirements is for a motherfucker to be all for himself. Pay attention. 
Like I said, we got some more shit to talk about. I gotta talk about the yellow beads and shit, whatever like that, because he brought up God when he talked when uh after he got shot and shit like that. And we gotta speak on that shit. If you haven't went to the Big Homes Network, make sure you go over there. Got a lot of good shows over there. We just did the Young Greatness What You Say episode. Y'all gotta see that shit. That uh the link to the Big Homes Network is in the description box. And make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.